Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Andy. I'm a third-year undergraduate student at Arizona State University. Now I'm going to make a video to introduce the ASU Mathematics Placement Exams. No matter what is your major, or how many math courses you take in a high school, the first thing you may want to do is to take the ASU Mathematics Placement Exams. The placement exam may just determine your mathematics ability that what math course you need to take at the first semester at ASU. The placement exam it is conducted via ALEKS, an online adaptive learning platform which we will use in multiple class, maybe you can come later in the later at ASU. The placement exam is proctored. You need to show your ID or passport just to make sure you are not cheating or violating academic or not violating the academic academic integrity rules here. Just make sure the test it is it is authentic. Now this I will provide some like the more detailed exp detailed explanation about like what to do with this placement exam and how it works. So let's get started. So there should be like a no assistant needed for the exams. The only thing what you need to do is you just search on search ASU math placement exam just to read some like a rules like what you cannot wear or like what testing environment you need. The only thing about like this placement exam it is you need to use like the responders, the monitor, just a lockdown browser. So you're just only focusing on the exam itself. You're not looking like searching browser just to, like this is not an open note examinations. If you look up your note, just a search on the answer and, and get 100%. This, this may be kind of a de 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 deceiving because even if you got 100% on this, on the placement exam, you may feel very, you might struggle if you're taking some like a high step calculus courses at ASU. The purpose of this examination it is to, it is examining your mathematical ability prior to any coursework at ASU. So just regardless about how many AP or IB classes you took before, you are start the same you're at the same starting point as everybody does. Unless you have some AP coursework or IB coursework transfer here that can that you can just wave out some of some of the courses. So your score is from a zero to a hundred. Your score is scored on the hundred point scale. With you have thirty multiple choice questions. Usually, the test take about like an hour to, to ninety minutes, or maximum two hours. But you have three hours to complete this exam. And based on your score, you will be placed into three different categories. The first category is like from zero to a sixty. That category will place you into math one forty two, the college mathematics, or math one one seven, the college algebra. This tier of mathematics course is usually required by um, humanity courses or uh, or. Any non-STEM subject that does not require any mathematical knowledge just to, after high school. So if your major does not require any courses from tier two or tier or, or the highest tier, you're good to go. Or if you have transfer coursework from a community college, you do not need to take the course if the course transfer it is on your on your DARS or on your academic record. You can take the exam up to 
three times, and only the highest score it is kept on your record. So if you take all three times, if you used up, you have 84, 70, and 46. The 84 will be your score used for placement. If your score it is between 61 and 75, you will take more advanced courses like the um, the pre-calculus and the kind of easy version of calculus for non non engineering major. If you're in carry if you're in carry scope of business, you need the placement score of. 61 higher to get a place into math to 10. This is the course usually required by any major under the, under the, under the business school. And many of like the statistics courses and and higher level classes. If you're a major that is in the Fulton School of Engineering or any major that that requires substantial level of mathematical knowledge is you have to take math to 65 or 270, which is uh, the engineering or general calculus courses. In this case, you have to score above a 75 or higher. If you're wondering what is on this placement exam, the exam is more like a pre-calculus. It's like up to three years of high school mathematics, more like the algebra one, like operations and geometry and trigonometry and functions. And uh, and a little bit of an application about like algebra. So it's more of a like, so if you take, if you take algebra one, algebra two, geometry, or some of the trigonometry or pre-calculus, and you would do well on these placement exams. And remember, you have three attempts for this placement exam. So use each attempt wisely. And after each placement exam, you will have the score report. The score report will provide that which area you need to work on, which area you mastered. And if you find like, if you're weak, um, if you don't like trigonometry, if you just um, get lots of trigonometry question wrong, and they was and they would just advise you to practice more questions on the trigonometry topics. So, and the, the topic is more like the high school pre-calculus. So do not worry about it if you are, so there's not gonna be kind of an integration or it's like a limit on the placement exam. Just gonna be a high school, high school mathematics. So your school will be valid for one year, which is 12, 12, 12 calendar month. If your score it is expired, you need to take additional attempt. If you have any attempt that is remaining, also make sure to check your also make sure to check your major progress, like what mathematical course it is proper for your major. So and always to make sure, like if your score is lower than six or if your score. And here's something that you may just think if you do not have any course money transfer coursework. If you're a first year student at ASU and your major only requires math 142, but you score like 85 on the placement exams, that the higher placement score just indicate you have a higher mathematical proficiency, but that does not waive the course you still have to take the course which is required by your major. 
and make sure object make sure your computer meets the following requirement and just to check and just make sure to make sure just make sure just to visit all the wet all the questions here always make sure you do not have any reset for the for those attempts if you use it up all three and your score it it is expired you must email the place in mathematics for additional attempt also there's one thing i recommend do not take all three attempts consecutively Gave some time to refresh, to, re to reinforce the concept that you, you just learned that, just to learn from what you missed on the last attempt. And make sure to get a higher score and your desired score you want. If you want to take math to 70 or calculus courses at ASU, make sure to, to score at least a, 76 or higher and just make sure you're practicing until you feel confident then take these placement exams do not think this is just like a random like a like a random assignment that you can redo many times as possible you only have three attempts and Thank you uh, for listening to this video, and I hope everyone can place into the management course they want, and I wish you the best at ASU.